Hey on guys, thanks for checking us out. I'm just going to walk you guys through uh, my online order form on how to order. Uh, the first half of this video, or the first couple seconds, is going to be like the quick version. And then I'm going to go through and explain this form pretty good. Uh, so this is the homepage now of readhawaii.com. And um, if you're wondering how much is your deposit, you have two options. So the first option is uh, basic deposit for any board is 250 and a package will deposit. And what that means is that you're putting a, a $100 deposit on your board plus you're purchasing uh, new fins, traction, and leash, and you're going to get free wax and the best price on the board. So it's kind of up to you, um, but you'll see that the deposit amount will change to 175 if you select that. Okay, so real quick, um, for the guys that are looking for the quick version of my uh, tutorial and um, having problems with my order form, look for the asterisks, and there's only a couple of sections, about seven or eight sections that require that. Um, those are the only questions that you need to answer, and then you'll be able to place your order. So just make sure that you uh, click each section with the asterisks, and then at the bottom, you'll be able to add this to cart. Okay, and it won't let you add it to cart unless you click, um, you know, you answer those questions. So what I'm going to do is uh, kind of briefly skim through the options, but if you don't need to hear the whole thing, you can just log off and make sure that you uh, address all those questions with the asterisks. Okay, so for the guys that are going to um, watch the whole video, I'm going to walk you through the options here. Um, I created this form myself, so and I'm constantly updating it and editing it uh, based upon feedback that I get. Um, so I'm just going to walk through your options real quick and explain... Um, you know, my thought process of, uh, you know, how I want you to answer the questions and uh, what you should select based upon what you're thinking. So, you know, first question, uh, you got to answer, do you know what you want? Um, and the reason for that is I do get people that will give me money and place orders and they really don't know what they want. And what I want is for you to have a rough idea what you want before you give me money and take the time to think about that before you place your deposit. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you're comfortable with leaving deposit and you really have no idea what you want, Go ahead and select that, but you know I would recommend talk to us first and kind of figure out roughly what you want, um, and then you could just select. I have a pretty good idea. Uh, custom request. Um, you know, if you're just looking to modify dimensions of a model that I have, so then select this one right down here. Modify dimensions of an existing board. Um, if there's a board that you see online that I don't make or shape. Um, you know, send me a picture of that board and then choose this option right here, a close copy of a board from another shaper. And it'll cost a little bit more because it's it's a little bit more on my end to duplicate the shape. Okay, and uh, same thing here. Some guys will ask me to copy a board but not provide a picture. Um, so I really would appreciate it if you would provide me a picture of the board. If not, that means I got to go find a picture, send it to you, ask you if this is the board you're talking about. Uh, just creates more work. So if that's what you want me to do, um, that's going to cost a little bit extra for me to like do all that research. So the best thing to do is, again, do your homework, click on a link, copy the picture, and then just email it to me separately. And, uh, so, you know, if you're doing a custom order, you could choose, you know, performance series shortboard, and you see the approximate price range, high volume series shortboard. These are some of my um, models. And so basically what this is broken down to is, Pricing based upon the blanks that I would use for the boards in the series. And you would go back to readhawaii.com or readsurfboards.com and kind of uh, look on there. And you'll see that each type of board has a different series or explains a little bit more what the board is. Um, so I have long board and then the megalodon, which is a different blank for a thicker and wider long board. So these are uh, pretty accurate price estimates. Again, um, it's based upon you know, your exact board length and a lot of other little factors that can kind of affect the pricing. So if you know that you want, let's say, a 6-8 board, but you're not really sure, you know, how thick or how wide you should go, just put 6-8, okay? If you know exactly what you want, you can put the dimensions, but this is not required, but any, any information is helpful in here. Uh, board model would be if you're picking an exact board model of mine. If not, just leave it blank. Uh, one of the big things that I offer is pre-cut blanks and um, what you can see from the pull down menu is I've uh, taken the time to carefully update exactly what I have in stock and available the exact file number with the exact dimension so you know if we're talking about a board and you, you want a specific board that I have you know it really um, makes a lot of sense 
to select the blank that we're talking about. A lot of times, for some reason, customers would be like, oh yeah, okay, we were talking about a certain model, I want the double need Excel, and then they won't select the pre-cut blank. So it kind of raises the question, or you want that model, but are you looking to change something or not? So, you know, if we're exchanging emails and we're talking about a pre-cut blank and your pre-cut blank is listed here, then select it. Okay, it's pretty simple. Um, same thing here, you know, again, if you're selected in a pre-cut blank, you might want to talk to me about it. Um, like if you were to select EPS and the pre-cut blank is poly, obviously this would be a conflict. Um, the other thing that I want to point out is you can, um, if you select the EPS blank, you need to select epoxy glassing. However, you're not going to be double charged as you see there's $100 here, but you can select epoxy glassing and put that on a poly blank. So, um... If you're not sure, these aren't required, you can leave it blank. I do need to know, you do need to select the tail design. If you're selecting a pre-cut blank, then choose pre-cut blank because obviously it's a pre-cut blank and the tail has already been shaped. Um, you know, if you're uncomfortable with the decision or you just kind of want to leave that up to me, then click right there as well. However, you do need to make a selection. I can't tell you how many times where somebody will order something custom and then uh, I'll design it for them and they'll be like, oh, well, can I have the tail squash? It's not that big a deal, but it does require a totally redesign and, and uh, takes up more time on my part. So you need to make a selection there. You know, you need to put a name on the stringer or a nickname or something. If you don't want anything, just write none, but you need to fill that out. Um, you know, basically, I'm going to go off the spelling that you put in there. You know, any special instructions? A lot of times guys will place their deposit and then email me a list of instructions. Um, that's what this area of the form is for. So... You could just keep writing, and, I, and I'm going to get an email printout of exactly everything you write. So, you know, if you want a board with, you know, something unique or special on there, that's what this block is for. Your height, I need to know your height, so that's a mandatory question. Your weight, I need to know your weight. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty quick, just select your, your weight. Uh, shipping, I need to know shipping. You know, sometimes... Maybe you used to live in Maui and your billing information shows Maui, but now you live in Oahu. Um, and you know, I'm going to get your credit card info. It's going to say, you know, why Luku or something. It's hard for me. I don't, I don't want to make assumptions. So if you don't need shipping, click not needed. You know, I've had guys that are outer islands, but they commute to Oahu and, you know, pick boards up or whatever. So, you know, it's a question that I need an answer. Do you need shipping or not? Uh, we, we are going to be starting our shipping to the mainland and also we're getting international setup so I'll be adding that in here as well but for right now if you're one of the outer islands guys select shipping um, and then also too if you do select shipping make sure that when you check out you select a, ship, a shipping option uh, if not it's not a big deal I'll just bill you separately for that at the end so we use stock futures but uh, if you're not gonna if you want something separate then make the selection here FCS1 that's the old school circular FCS plugs FCS Fusion is um, the second style they came out with. It looks like a peanut. And FCS 2, it costs a little bit more, and that's a new uh, the snap in system, okay? So just make sure you know what you're talking about when you select your fins. Um, basically, I'm not really doing quads unless somebody. If you want a quad, if you're adamant on a quad, then go ahead and put it up in your special instructions. Um, but generally, you know, we get, this is a whole separate issue, but. If you select, if you want a quad, it makes sense to just have a five fin because if you don't like the quad, you can always go back to writing it as a thruster. You can write it as a five fin. You, you, there's a lot of different things you can do. So, I highly recommend if you if you don't, you know, if you want to, if you're considering a quad setup, you might as well just go for the five fin. And I've reduced the pricing on that, so you can select that there. Um, the Kevlar. There's a lot of questions about the Kevlar. I'm gonna be um, doing a frequently asked question section later on, but basically. It's roughly $20 a foot. I get charged per inch with the material. Uh, on a short board, we'll use about three feet, so it's about 60 bucks. If you're ordering a 9.0, then obviously we're going to use you know more than three feet on the deck. Um, you know, basically, kind of select what you want. Um, I'm going to be providing a, a separate area to like further explain the Kevlar, but you know, if you just kind of think that you want Kevlar, but you're not sure which is the best option. You know, I generally, I would highly recommend you would go with my recommendation and I could explain, you know, in a separate email why I'm making that decision. So you would, you know, select here. And if I explain it to you and you don't want to get it later on, you could always change your mind. That's not a big deal. 
Um, but here would be, this option here would be to defer to my recommendation. Uh, Airlight X, a lot of people have questions about Airlight X. I, I've created a whole separate um, web page on that. It's under um, more info on read surfboards. Basically, we're going to cover the entire deck of the board. Um, there's a lot of high performance features with Airlight X. If you want it, click here. If you don't want it, don't click there. Uh, color fin boxes, these are the color options available. It's five bucks, not a big deal. Um, basically, you can mix and match your fin box colors. So let's say uh, I want my outer fins blue and I want my inner fins red. Done. No problem. Okay, you can mix and match. So let me know what you want. Just put right it in here. Colored features uh, leash plug. It's also a stronger leash plug. And uh, basically the same color options as the fins, the fin boxes from Futures. You can uh, mix and match colors. Uh, just let me know. All the color options are there. This is our colored logos. So right now these are the colors available. Um, if you don't see a color here that you want, we don't have it. You know, right now we're not like, we got to order them in bulk. It's $150 to order a different color. So, you know, we'll, we'll eventually be adding more colors, but for right now, these are the color options. Um, S-Cloth, I, I do highly recommend that you upgrade to S-Cloth on the bottom of the board if you're worried about, you know, like putting the board in your car and digging it up on the bottom. S-Cloth will provide just a little bit extra layer of um, protection. It's not gonna stop, if you hit the reef or, you know, hit rocks, it's not gonna stop that, but uh, it does provide just a little extra protection if you just, a little bit rough on your boards and you're throwing them around. Um, I include S-Cloth on the deck stock, but if you wanted to go two layers of S-Cloth, then that would be an extra $2 a foot. So, you know, on a short board, you're looking for an extra 12 bucks. Uh, on a 9.0, you'd be looking at it about $18 or whatever. Uh, the strength enhancing tail reinforcement, right now the two options are the HD Carbon Style and Octagon. I got pictures of that on the website, readsurfboards.com. Go ahead and take a look at it. There's a lot of Photos over here, you, you know, get an idea what they look like. Uh, logo placement, two options are front and center or offset at a 45 degree angle. Again, if you look at the photos on my website, you know, you'll take a, you'll get an idea what that, what I'm talking about there. Okay, so if you're, if you're requesting airbrush or something like that, um, click here if you're going to be sending me a picture so I could look out for it. You know, if you're not going to send me a, a photo of the artwork, then again, you know, you know, the more open something is to interpretation, the less likely it is to be exactly what you want. So basically, you don't have to send me a photo. You could describe it. But if you're looking for something like really specific, like a specific color or something very unique, you know, the more information you provide and more accurate information, you know, the more likely you, you are to get exactly what it is that you want. Okay, so airbrush on deck. This is like a rough price estimate. You could briefly describe what you want. Same thing on the bottom. You know, if you want the rails, the rails are pretty much, you'd fill it out on the deck, you know, black, let's say black rails, no problem. It would be a little cheaper than 40 bucks for something just like that. So, again, just put it in what you want, and then I'll make the adjustment on my end. As you can see, I have put the prices, but it's not going to automatically charge you. You're just leaving a deposit. This allows me some flexibility so that I can bill you uh, appropriately. And, you know, there might be some discounts that I can apply. So, basically, you selecting your options... Um, just helps me put your order form together. Okay, so if you want graphics, we're now offering graphics, but um, you got some options here. So basically, I've spoken to you, which means you've communicated with me and I, I've approved whatever it is you're talking about right there. Okay, um, I have an Adobe Vector image ready for printing. If you don't know what that is, then you probably don't have it. Okay, uh, I will need Adobe vec image vectorization. Again, if you don't know what that is, then Yes, you do need that. Click here. Uh, we'll provide that for you. We can work with your image. Um, and then the default is, I want a graphic, but you need your help and guidance. Basically, if you don't know what you're doing, click right there, and, and we'll help you out. Okay? Uh, if you have a friend that uh, told you about Read Surfboards, or you saw us on Craigslist or Yelp, or you were in a store, and a, and a guy in a store, you know, one of the shop guys recommended, um, you check us out, and then put their name there, and... Uh, I'll either hook you up or hook them out, you know, hook them up. I, you know, I just kind of like to know who's recommending and who's sending customers my way. Also, discounts. There's really no amounts in here, but, again, it gives me the flexibility to either give you free products or, you know, discount things on my end, just depending on the options you select. So if you're a military, vet, retired, or active, 
Uh, this is the aisle discount card. I'm going to be setting that up. If you're a previous customer or if you have a bro deal card, this is something that I'm also working on. So you can just click, click over there. Uh, accessories, you gotta you gotta select this option. Let me know. So if you don't want any deals, then click uh, none, no deals wanted. But I mean, a little little trick to my pricing is basically, if I see that you ordered a board and then all of a sudden, you know, even if you didn't order a package deal, but you're like, all right, yeah, I do want attraction and you know I do like those Scarfini fins and yeah, I want the I want the save and surf tool. I could probably it would probably be a good idea to have some extra fin screws and you know. And I see that you order extra things. I'm probably gonna lower your price on your board or find some extra discounts for you. But you know, if you don't want any deals or you don't want to purchase extra accessories, then click right here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you know, I'm really kind of done. I'm over trying to convince people to buy stuff for me. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But you know, it's pretty. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't want any deals, then then don't select any of my options. <laughs> And I'll, I'll make my money up on the board. All right, so if you have any questions or comments or if you think I can make this form better or edit it, you know, put your information right there. And then if you have a question about an option but you're otherwise pretty, like, 90% sure, all right, yeah, I'm going through with, the, with this order, but I, I just want to, like, clear something up, put that right there. Um, then you'll be able to add it to cart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add a board to cart without selecting. Obviously, I left a lot of this blank, and I'm just going to show you what's going to happen. And it's going to highlight the areas that you need to fill out in red. So in case you miss any of those areas, they're now highlighted in red. And as you can see, even though this form maybe looks overwhelming, there's a lot of options. When you scroll through, there's really only a couple of areas that you have to fill out. And then you could just go ahead and leave your deposit. So it's really not a big deal. Um, and then I know, of course, I'm going to get questions about, you know, I don't want to do the form or, you know, I like to meet up with per in person or whatever. But basically what... You know, 90% of our customers have no problem with this, and this really helps them so they could see all the mm -hmm. options up front. And the feedback we've been getting from our previous customers has been great. Uh, this really streamlines things for, for me on my end, um, and then it really helps you see exactly what you're getting and what you're not getting. So this is pretty much how – I'm not going to say this is the only way you can place your order, but you're highly encouraged. I highly encourage you to place your order this way. Um, on a case by case basis, we'll we'll make arrangements to meet up with people. But just so you know, you know time is money, and if I gotta stop shaping boards or make special arrangements to meet you at the shop, you know I'm probably gonna sneak in a couple extra bucks on my end just for the time. Um, you know, it's not that you're wasting my time. It's just that I've spent a lot of time making this as easy as possible, and this helps me really be accurate and. Uh, I think it's the best way to place your order. You know, it's not like uh, it's not like this is difficult to do. So, I highly encourage you to, to place your order like this. If you have any questions or concerns, um, there's a little pop up thing at the bottom. I have a question. Bam! Click on that. It's gonna pop up. This will go straight to my phone. I could I could respond back to you immediately. So you know, we also have our contact information, our email. You can always call and text me as well and ask a question, and we'll walk you through it. But the intent of the video is to make it as easy as possible. So thanks for checking us out, and uh, we're definitely open to any of your questions or comments. All right, thank you.